What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I've got another incredibly important AMC update to bring all of you this evening. So after uh, my last video was recorded, we received news that Mudrick may have sold their 8.5 million share position in AMC. So we're going to go over the validity of these statements being made by Bloomberg and why these statements are being made and, and, and just how uh, weird it is that Mudrick is coming out and saying this at the current time. Now, some of the other pieces of FUD that we are going to be going over in this video is the fact that people are saying that, that shorts are starting to cover their positions in AMC. This could not be further from the truth, and the data actually suggests the complete opposite. And a lot of people have also been asking me, um, when are we going to know when we are in the squeeze, and when also are we going to know when we're getting to the top of when this squeeze ends up happening. Now, again, we are not in the squeeze at the current time. What we are experiencing now is, is a FOMO slash gamma squeeze rally. So once the squeeze does happen, I'm going to give you guys two very important indicators to watch out for in order to give us a better understanding of where the stock price could be heading. So before we get into all of this extremely important information, if you guys enjoy the information and analysis that I provide for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people as possible. And the more people we get learning about this AMC situation, the bigger our community grows. So uh, the first things first, we still with all of the FUD and craziness going on today with AMC closed at $32.04, up $5.92, and that is about 22.66% on the day. Now, we are flickering up and down after hours. At the current time that I'm recording, we are down about 1%, but honestly, after a 22% run, it's really not that big of a deal to see a slight pullback in the after hours trading period. Now, coming over to the Ortex data, Let's take a look at the utilization. So let's examine the statement that shorts have started to cover. Now, utilization is the amount of shares that institutions are willing to lend versus the amount of shares that have been lent out. So if somebody says, hey, the shorts are starting to cover, that would mean that the utilization would have to start falling. Now, seven days ago, the utilization was at 99.32%, and now it's sitting at 99.33%. We've seen it flicker up and down uh, every couple of days, but overall, it stayed very close to this 100% mark. That suggests to me the shorts have not started to cover their position. Now, when we look at the shares on loan, this suggests to me that shorts have actually added to their position. So the shares on loan seven days ago, 129.02 million. The current shares on loan, 133.44 million. Now, Ortex does update these numbers, so you may be seeing some slightly different things. Um, but when we come over to the estimated short interest uh, of the free float, it's at 17.49%. The previous, about 15.83%. So short interest is rising as well. So the data that we are getting from Ortex is telling us that not only are the shorts not covering their position, they're actually adding more to these positions. And, and for you guys that, that are looking around for new information about AMC, um, it's, it's hard to not listen to maybe what you're seeing on CNBC um, and what they're saying about shorts maybe starting to cover. This is just not the case. Looking at the hard data, you can see that that is not what is going on. Now, this is the first piece um, uh, of what I was saying earlier and the first indicator that you need to look at to actually tell us if we are in the squeeze. Once we start squeezing, we are going to see the utilization fall, the shares on loan fall, and the uh, short interest fall as well. That is going to tell us that the sh uh, shares on loan that are being shorted are being returned to the institutions and the lenders that are lending out these shares. Now, the second thing that I want you guys to keep a lookout for uh, is going to be, uh, it has to do with the Archigo situation. So I've said this a lot in my videos that I think that the, the what is really going to happen once AMC squeezes is we're going to see a overall broad market correction. So something to look out for is the bigger names and indices such as the blue chip stocks, Apple, Amazon, Tesla, um, uh, Google, those might start to sell off. Same thing with the larger indices like the S&P 500. Now, speaking of Archegos, we saw their fund topple. Now, with all of the synthetics and naked shorting going on out in the market, I think that it is entirely possible that when we start getting up to the levels that we think this short squeeze could get to, 
we are going to see an Archigo situation happening with these larger and smaller institutions, maybe once a week, maybe every other day. I don't really know right now, but I do think that institutions are going to start to tumble. Now, let's get into this Mudrick situation that you guys were pointing out to me in my last video. So, a uh, brief update, Mudrick Capital agrees to purchase 8.5 million shares of AMC. AMC raised 230.5 million of cash from the sale, and the price of the sale per share was about 27.12%. That is a 4% premium that Mudrick paid. When you think about that holistically and from a broad perspective, when an institution like Mudrick is paying a premium for a position, they obviously see a, a, a lot of value in actually buying these shares. So, when we come over right here, uh, it looks like we got this, this headline from Bloomberg today that says, Mudrick, AMC is, quote, massively overvalued and has sold their entire stake. Now, what I want to point out to you guys is that we have not really seen any concrete proof that Mudrick has actually done this yet. So, there's always a lot of manipulation in the market, especially with the news media outlets. And yes, it is possible that Mudrick actually did sell their position in AMC after just recently buying it, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, but we're going to go over why it could in a minute. But it, it just really doesn't make a lot of sense. They could have done it. They could not have. But we don't really have proof of this at the current time. Now, another thing that I want to bring up is this right here, um, that Citadel owns 5% of Mudrick. Now, when we see this here, it looks like they own 5%. Everybody is floating this around. When we come back over to Fintel, we can see that actually as of February 16th, the effective date uh, in, a, in a 13G filing, the ownership percentage was 4.7%. So, hmm, they actually decreased their ownership going into February. Now, here is what I want to point out to you guys. Remember over the last week when we saw Citadel come out with all of these amended filings, they did one on the 21st and I believe the 28th of May, and we saw them selling off a very significant amount of positions. The effective date of this sale right here is March 31st. So we can see that they now have zero shares of Mudrick and their share percentage change was minus 100%. So a lot of people were saying that Citadel was behind this. And even though it it, it is possible that Citadel still has a relationship with Mudrick. I do not believe at the current time that Citadel was the reason for Mudrick actually coming out and selling their AMC position. Something else is going on here behind the scenes that we are not privy to, but something doesn't feel right. So hopefully this video was able to clear up some of the fear, uncertainty, and doubt that we were seeing from, from all of the news media outlets today. Um, and I really wanted to, to get a video out and make sure that I was explaining this to you guys in the best way possible. Now, with all of the FUD going around, again, we still closed at $32.04. And I believe this fear, uncertainty, and doubt campaign is only the beginning. This is going to get a lot worse, especially as the share price continues to climb. Now, for you guys who are new to this movement, uh, I think it's going to be very difficult for you guys to uh, to really tune out the fear, uncertainty, and doubt that we are seeing. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to, to, to uh, DM me anytime you would like to on Twitter at shortthevix1. So that is going to conclude this update on AMC. If you guys enjoyed the information and analysis that I provided for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps me out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people as possible. And, and if you want to see more videos, videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options I'm trading and which strategies I'm using to trade them. So I hope you guys had a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.